Welcome back. And as you can see, now with my secondary colors done, this piece is really starting to come together. Woo! Cool. So the last part and the probably one of the more challenging because now we have to actually mix colors is the tertiaries. So to get a tertiary, all I'm doing is adding the secondary with the primary. So if I wanna make red purple, I'm gonna take a pure saturated hue from the red, a pure saturated hue from the purple. I'm gonna mix it together. Hopefully it won't be too dark. And I'm gonna try to make a singular color that's in between both of those to put it in the center. I'm gonna go through doing one of these and then afterwards I'll time lapse again and show you the whole completed piece as I work through it. So let's start with one. I guess since I just talked about red purple, I might as well work with it. I already have some purple that's kind of worked in from the last secondary that I just did. So I'm gonna activate my red again by adding a little bit of water into the paint, uh, pure hue. And I'm just gonna work it in. And this can kind of take some time to get a nice saturated color your consistency should kind of be like mud. So working the bristles, don't damage them, but just working them in, scratching, twisting, circling. And get it nice and thick like that. Now remember, you're gonna wanna make enough of this that you can do your hue, your tint, and your tone. So I'm adding enough to make a lot. And I'm gonna pull, start pulling this out to the side right here. I'm gonna try to get all of this out here so I have it, once I make it, I don't have to make it again. All right, looks good to me, that should be enough. Now the rule of mixing colors is that <clears throat> the darker color is always gonna be more opaque over the lighter color. So with, in this case, the purple being the darker, I'm gonna need a little bit less of it to make a nice red purple, but I'm still gonna wanna get a pure purple. It's already kind of worked in, so I'm not gonna have to work it in too much, but I'm just gonna slowly start adding this purple over to this red until I get the desired color I want. So I'm gonna add a little bit of purple and I'm gonna mix all of this red into there. Already it's got a different color. It's starting to become more of a rust. I'm gonna pull over a little bit more of this purple. And what I'll do as I'm mixing is I'll kind of dry it on my brush in between each one so I'm not contaminating the purple. And I'll pull more of this purple over here, mix it in. that looks about red purple to me. I might use just a little bit more purple inside of here. The cosmos is also within us. We're made of stars. We are a way for the cosmos to know itself. Yep, that's it. So now if I look, it's not red, it's not purple, it is definitely a red purple. So I'm going to try to keep a little space in between these as well to keep this consistency and make it look clean. So I'm going to actually stop right before each one of these spaces so that I don't run into the next space.
brush every single time it starts feeling a little bit flat or dry, not wanting to overload it and create a big mess. back over to the big brush, make sure to dry it, and since I already have a nice big area over here of this pre-made color, all I'm going to do is dabble a bit of this black, as always a little bit of black goes a long way, and over here on the side I'm going to lay my black down, and I'm just going to pull my red purple over to it mix it in until it gets the desired color that I want. I realize now and that looks about good to me. starts feeling a little bit watery, you can dab a little bit more black, pull it over, but you'll just have to remix it again. But it might be worth it if it starts becoming too watery. And just remember, the 30 seconds or 20 seconds it takes to mix up a color is not that long comparative to having to start over rush it and make a big mistake. So take your time, make it look nice. Your sense of accomplishment and enjoyment of the piece will be much more meaningful. There you go. One of my tertiaries are done. Now I'm just kind of pulling the paint across, making it look nice and smooth so when it dries it looks consistent. And that's one tertiary down. And as you can see, this is really starting to come together as a piece. I'm gonna go back into time-lapse as I finish up my other tertiaries and I'll talk back as soon as I'm done. Quality. And as you can see, I have all my primary, secondary, and tertiary colors completed. They're still a little bit wet in some certain areas, so you might catch a little bit of glare. But for the most part, you can see I have a nice clean line separating the tone, the hue, and the tint. I have all 12 colors, and it's looking pretty good. Good luck on yours, and let me know if you have any questions.